What is going on, you guys? I'm your host, Stacey Cole Morgan, and you are listening to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast here on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Good Pod HQ, or wherever you find your preferred podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about the final online qualifiers weekend of the entire Call of Duty League season of this major four online tournament. Everything that is in between is happening this weekend. So without any further delay, let's go to get straight into today's action. The following is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network. Welcome to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Stacy Cole Morgan. Here on the Morgan Man Sports Podcast, we talk Atlanta Falcons news, pre-game predictions, and all other news surrounding the Atlanta Falcons. Touchdown, Atlanta! Also on the podcast, we talk Call of Duty League esports covering roster mania, major predictions, COD champs, player trades, and much more to get you ready for every single CDL weekend. Scuff goes through, and Scuff stands, wins the one-on-one, and Optic with the reverse sweep. If that sounds good with you, put on your Falcons jersey, grab your gaming headset, and let's get the show started. All right, guys, so we are talking about the final weekend of the online qualifiers for the major four tournament and just in general the final online qualifiers of this regular season to end the call of duty league 2024 season as we ramp things up for cod champs and black ops 6 here in the near future so as always we start off with cdl point standings and for right now in the regular season the atlanta phase as quite no surprise here is sitting at number one with 475 CDL points with a 33-6 and six bat win-loss ratio of 84.62. And as always, this does follow in order right here. Next is Toronto Ultra with 430 CDL points, 30-9. and nine. Up to Texas, 415, 29-13. and 13. New York Subliners, 295, 24-14. Miami Heretics, 160, 15-19. Seattle Surge, 160, 14 and 21. Los Angeles Thieves, 145, 14 and 18. And finally, the Vegas Legion at 140, 13 and 19. For your playoff qualification cutoff, the Carolina Royal Ravens, Los Angeles Gorillas, and Minnesota Rocker are all sitting at 140 CDL points, while the Boston Breach is dead last at 50 still so obviously no surprise right there i do like now that there is a distinct battle between five and six and seven and eight now the eighth spot could be a coin flip i think los angeles is pretty much guaranteed ourselves that number seven spot going into cod champs but it just would be heavily reliant on their ability to win out this weekend in it, uh, the major four tournament itself in Los Angeles. So you definitely got to, if you're in Los Angeles, step your game up this weekend because you got a lot of tough matches ahead of you. And, so, and that goes the same for the Vegas Legion. Yes, you just made the qualification sitting at the eighth overall spot, but you got the Ravens who are hot on land. You got the Gorillas who sometimes can surprise people alongside the Minnesota Rocker. Boston Breach is definitely no worries. I would not worry about them whatsoever. But I would like to see them win some money this season. Hopefully at the Major Four. Of all teams, that would be the most just unexpected U-turn of all of sporting history. A team that only has 50 CEO points wins the Major Four tournament. That would be the most absurd thing and in, in, again, in, in all sports history, not just esports, but in all sports history, right there. I do like it right there, but of course, we all know it's not going to happen. The Boston Breach might as well go ahead and start preparing of who they're going to look for in the 2025 Call of Duty League season with Black Ops 6. 
So like I said, Miami Heretics and Seattle Surge, that is distinct, a distinct battle right there. Uh, fifth and sixth plays, and of course, seventh and eighth. But again, you got nine, 10, and 11 trying to get their way into COD Champs. And Vegas Legion right now does stand in the way. So moving on over to the weekend schedule right here, ladies and gentlemen. Again, the final weekend of all online qualifiers for this major tournament and all of the regular season of the Call of Duty League. So Friday, June 21st, you got the Miami Heretics taking on the Seattle Surge. So definitely we got our fifth and sixth battle right there going on. That's going to determine who's going to take that fifth overall spot and who's going to hold that sixth overall spot to start things off. The next up, you got the Atlanta Fags taking on the Tron Ultra. That's definitely going to be a matchup to look forward to. I think pretty much Faze has got that number one spot locked down right now. But who knows? Tron Ultra could go on a win spree this weekend and throughout the entire Major 4 tournament next weekend and totally decimate the game and take the first spot. The Vegas Legion will end things off on Friday, June 21st against the Los Angeles Thieves. So then there again, you got this seventh and eighth overall spots battling it out. And if you're Vegas, you need to win this. You really do. So that way you can move move yourself above and beyond all the other teams and you know at least guarantee yourself that seventh spot. Yes, you might start at a lower bracket, but hey, you're still making COD champs. Saturday, June 22nd, you got the Atlanta phase taking on the Miami Heretics to kick things off at 3 p.m. Eastern. Definitely, I like Atlanta phase over the Heretics in a 3-1. Los Angeles Gorillas taking on the Seattle Surge. Gorillas definitely need some points, but guys, I just don't think it's going to come in the form with Seattle Surge because Seattle Surge is still on fire right now. They, they're winning a lot more matches than what they did at the beginning of the season. And that's great because right now is the time you need to start winning. Second to last match is Optic Texas taking on the Boston Breach. Obviously, this is going to be a clean 3-0 for Optic. But hey, who knows? Now with the recent, what, I would say like championship hangover during the major three, you could might as well say that Boston Breach definitely has a shot to beat Optic Texas, which was would be so freaking hilarious for the Boston Breach to take down the major three champions. It, it, it would just be something, and they start getting some points on the board. Oh, man, that would be so funny. To end things, on Saturday, June 22nd at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, you got the Las Vegas Legion taking on the Minnesota Rocker. Again, this is another distinct possibility for the Vegas Legion to further themselves into that pool and be a, sitting a little bit more comfortable around the Major Four tournament towards the end of the tournament, I should say. So that way they know they lock in their COD champ spot. And to kick things off on Sunday, June 23rd, you got the Optic Tech squad taking on Toronto Ultra. I like Toronto over Optic right here. So Optic, their best bet is honestly going to be going one and two this weekend. Or excuse me, one and one. I just don't see them really winning against Toronto, but of course against Boston, I do. The Carolina Royal Ravens is the second matchup on the list. Going up against the Boston Breach. So <laughs> the Boston Breach has got a lot of opportunities this weekend to gather up some CDL points. But the Carolina Royal Ravens is just a better team than Boston by a long shot. So I'm going to say it's a 3-1 in favor of Ravens. And finally, in the main event, Sunday, June 23rd at 6 p.m. Eastern, you got the Los Angeles Thieves taking on the New York Subliners. Thieves are in need of some points right now, ladies and gentlemen. But I think the Subliners, I think they figured out a rhythm to, to rely on, and I think they're going to stick with it and beat the Los Angeles Thieves in a 3-1 fashion. So that's your major four online qualifiers right there, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of juicy matches happening this weekend. And again, you know, remember the point standings. You know, you got fifth, sixth battling now to begin the weekend off. Then you got seventh and eighth battling. 
man, it's it's gonna be epic this weekend. Actually, it's all happening Friday, five through eight, playing each other. And then of course Atlanta Phase that Saturday gets Toronto Ultra. Or no, I'm sorry, Friday at four thirty. Atlanta Phase gets Toronto, so that's one and two battling out right there. So there's a lot of matches and a lot of CDO points at stake right now as we speak for the Call of Duty League in the final week of online qualifiers. And of course, as always, you do earn CDO points during the major four or any major tournament, not just in the online qualifier. So do keep that in mind because these point standings will change at the major four tournaments. So each match, I and I will do the best I can to kind of keep track of each and every single matchup and CDO point standings as we speak throughout the day. So definitely do keep an eye out on my Twitter at MMS Stacey Morgan or X formerly known as Twitter, Facebook, you know, wherever I have my socials at. Do keep a check up on it, guys. You don't want to miss it. Now, guys, I would talk about some Atlanta Falcons stuff right now, but we're just kind of in dry season right now. There's really nothing happening outside of the Falcons really getting charged a fifth round pick and two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the tampering of the free agency market going in for Kirk Cousins and two other players. But really, other than that, there's really no other kind of like news outside of like some mandatory mini camp happening, and of course. Training camp, your boy won't be able to go. Really, hardly no one will be able to go unless you're, of course, like, you know, top-notch media like Fox 5 Atlanta, CBS, and, of course, like NFL.com, of course. Because, I mean, you know, where else would you get the coverage? But, that, so it is, it is a bummer, but hopefully next year, still with Belly Up Sports, as always. But you guys, the guys at Belly Up will definitely – hook me up and get me in that football facility to take some pictures, videos, whatever it is at the training camp facility next year. So shout out to belly up sports guys. They're definitely an amazing sports network, not just with your boy here, but so many other amazing talented podcasters that are on the network. So definitely check them all out. But guys, our troop, you didn't join. If you didn't make sure to like, button wherever you are listening from iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you find your preferred podcasts. But until then, I, Cole Morgan, will catch you all later. Peace. Thank you for listening to this Belly Up Sports Podcast Network product. Some said we go belly up, so we made it our name, and we're still here.